Will you tell me what's your name? Uri. How old are you? Six. What did you do today? We, we ride bikes. Have you been riding bicycles? Hey, uh, I don't know. What do you like so much about riding bicycles? Because there's bumps. My name is Hannah and I've been riding bikes since May. It's about eight months or so. My name is Maddie Rowe and I've been riding bicycles. I don't know, I guess I started at the end of July of this past year. Jerry Greer, been riding bikes since uh, 1993. I'm the president for Sword of Tri Cities. Greg Carr. I've uh, been mountain biking since the mid 90s, I guess. Like, truly, like, serious mountain biking. Chad Wolf. Yeah, I don't even know. Honestly, I think I, you, know, you start when you're a kid. I don't know that I ever stopped. But mountain bikes, you know, really over the last 10 years, which, in all fairness, mountain bikes didn't even exist 30 years ago. So, most of the time, mountain bikes existed. Let's put it that way. I'm Nathan, Nathan Cole. And uh, I've been riding bikes. I guess more seriously for probably about three years. Um, you know, road, road bikes growing up and, you know, all of that stuff, but they were single speeds back then, right? So just BMX bikes and stuff when I was younger. William Kenneth Medley, be 55 years old this coming Wednesday. And been riding bikes since, I don't know, I guess some of the earliest memories I can remember. Got back into it, ironically enough, because my wife blew her knee out. Because we were running, and uh, believe it or not, biking's a lot easier on the knees. <laughs> so you know, so that's that's kind of how we got into it more heavily. Now I can't stay off of the bike hardly. You know, we went to Indiana School for the Blind, and there wasn't much else to do on weekends. They had a program there. They had a guy that came in every once in a while and helped work on bikes, but mostly you had to work on your bike yourself or a bike. And it was, you know, kind of started out something to do, something to do with my brother, my oldest, or my older brother, Pat, liked to ride bikes, and he and I rode bikes together. Basically, some of the nerve endings at the back of the eye just aren't connected. So I, I get a picture, you know, it's not a perfect picture of me. It's what I've had my whole life. So, I mean, I can't compare it to other vision. Um, I have a trace of albinoism, which makes my eyes a paler blue and makes them more sensitive to the light. So sometimes sunlight can be a factor, but, you know, it's been like this my whole life. So, you know, you just, you learn to deal. So our school science hill started a team um, and the Science Hill Mountain Biking Team, and we, oh, I heard about it through the school. 
Sorry. Just kidding. I heard about it through the school um, and through some of my friends who are mountain bikers and that's how I got into it. I like it because I get to do it with people that like we have a good team and I like all the people on the team and I like to do it because it's kind of like a stress reliever. It's really great to be out in like nature and be out away for just like a few minutes. Um, I'm a runner and I wanted to try something different. So honestly ride more than I did run now. <laughs> Guess it's the best thing on earth. Started out for fun. Then I raced mountain bikes uh, in Colorado. And uh, was also a promoter, race promoter, and ended up running a the mountain bike, uh, the grassroots mountain bike team for for Schwinn. It is transportation. I'm a daily commuter, ride back and forth to work every day, ride to the grocery store and such, and I just I still enjoy it. I've forgotten how much I did enjoy riding bike. Oh, it's you know when you get to see new riders. Like hiking is off-road walking and there's something really unique about being in the outdoors and enjoying nature but having fun at the same time and off-road cycling which is what mountain biking really is you know modern trails like this are fun and they're designed to be fun so that means that you know your confidence inspiring and confidence is fun and fun means you actually want to do it more so when you see those new riders ride trails like this it like resets what they think mountain biking even is and our industry is terrible at it we, it's usually a young guy with an energy drink in his hand skidding his tires around every turn and that's just a small portion of what this industry is like most of it is uh, this kind of stuff you know we build in it's the first berm anyone's ever seen before and um, the, the drainage is taken into consideration and the, the level of flow so that you know the super rocky crazy stuff certainly exists but um, fun I guess that's the idea trails are designed to be fun nowadays and the bikes are fun and the bikes are confidence inspiring enough to where you actually want to do it and it's kind of like a new sport it really is that has only had 30 40 years to evolve from a joke to where we're at now and it makes sense that the trails need to be different compared to what the bikes used to be bikes couldn't ride trails like this 10 15 years ago and now they can and now we're doing it in city parks as opposed to you know pay to play places which is great but it, it's more thought more design has ever gone into mountain bike trails now in the history of mountain biking so it's kind of like a golden age almost to where the technology of the bikes and the technology of the trail building are finally kind of hitting you know for the first time really um Oh man, it's just a great escape from all the uh, stress of the of the real world. It's um, you get out with your buddies, you have a good time, you go fast, you do stupid stuff, and you come out with a shit and grin on your face. My first trail day was back in May. Um, I went to Tannery Knobs and we did clean up on the hills at Tannery Knobs. Been building trails, oh, good 10 years. Um, been the Sorba Tri Cities. The trails coordinator for almost a year now, but uh, been building trails for about 10 years now. Been through three different IMBA training classes. What, a year, maybe two years? Not that long, I've been riding them a little longer than I've been building for sure. Yeah, still yeah. got a lot to learn from a lot of these guys. That's for sure. Uh, I mean, I've been building trails for a long time, since the 90s, but building trails of this nature, uh, mainly the last five. Well, I grew up in the Midwest, so I'm not sure the word mountain bike trails are the same thing, uh, but I started with the NIMBA, which would be the Northern Indiana Mountain Bike Association. Yeah, again, 10, 15 years ago. So uh, that's just the Northern Indiana version of Sorba, which is what we're working with here today. And um, there, it's challenging. It's always challenging to build trails, but in the Midwest, we've got 10 acres. You know, you don't have like this. You don't have elevation like this. So you're really working with terrible, nasty swamp land that nobody wants. So I'd say probably about 15 years ago was my first trail building experience, and it was that. It was a swamp called the Imagination Glen, which is in Portage, Indiana, and it was behind the archery range, which I always thought was super sketchy, but um, it was this swamp land, nothing mucky, terribleness, and that's what we built trails on, and a lot of it had to be man-made and wooden. Um, 
no elevation of any kind except for the super pitchy stuff to bring you back up. So uh, again, really cool to see how far trail building has come with what we do here today. My motivation to come out and build trails, um, just helping with the community and having something fun to ride on. I've always kind of been a little on the uh, artsy fartsy side of things. I, I did a lot of painting and uh, drawing um, all through school. I've got a bachelor's of fine art and um, I don't do so much of that now, but designing trails is kind of like my art form now. And then when you see a project like this come to life and you're out writing it, it just takes it to a whole nother level knowing that you had a hand in addition to all these other guys too. But knowing that you had a small part in what you're writing just increases, you know, the value of the experience tenfold. I mean, it's just like, man, this is so awesome. <clears throat> and, and, you know, it also lets you, it kind of teaches you what works and what doesn't. You might be at a work day building this sweet jump and you come out here two days later and you hit it and you're thinking, well, that didn't work. So then it's kind of like a learning experience, you know? You get out and you ride what you built and you think, okay, next time I'm gonna do this or I should have put that berm right there or I should have made that jump a little bit to the left. Playing in the dirt. Uh, I mean, I think, you know, if you're gonna consume, you need to give back, right? Like you need to come out and you need to do this if you're gonna ride this all the time. Um, you know, cause there's no such thing as trail gnomes. Right? No such thing as trail gnomes. <laughs> That's the main thing. There is no such thing as trail gnomes. So, and we use these trails a lot. Um, use them on a personal level. Uh, we use them for the team, Science Hill High School mountain biking team, right? I'm one of the assistant coaches. So, we want to make sure these kids have somewhere they can come and develop their skills. And Wing Deer is really. It's a great opportunity and a stepping stone, and I think uh, what's happening in Johnson City, uh, I think it's going to be a natural progression between the parks. You know, there'll be you'll be able to do a little bit of everything in, in, in a lot of the different places. So. Um, well, it's nice to give back what you're doing. So, you know, I ride on these trails, and I want to make sure that other people's experiences are just as great as mine. I'm to the point now, trail building wise, that. You know, mountain biking is right here for me and trail building is right here for me. So there's a lot of days when I could be out riding all day and instead I choose to go out and build trails. So, so, so sometimes families and job doesn't always get in the way of my riding. Sometimes trail building does the same. But I, I, I saw this really cool quote one time on the back of a, a trail t-shirt and it said, sacrificing ride time for the benefit of others or so everyone can ride something along those lines but you know it was pretty cool it's just like sometimes like do i go ride do i build trails do i go ride do i build trails sometimes i do a little bit of both at the same time well we've been we've been building since the 90s um before we became a, a sorba chapter we were just a club and so we've, well, we've got uh, four, four different uh, locations here in the Tri-Cities uh, that we've built by hand. This is uh, honestly our first trail system that was been mostly machine built, or, or at least more of a 50-50 uh, mix. All the other trail systems have been all built by hand. As we move forward with winged deer and tannery knobs, and the future trails that we're looking at in Buffalo, Buffalo area of the mountains um, and beyond. It's just, we're gonna be, we're sitting in a really good location. Yeah, well, that's more trails is options is the biggest thing. And in our area, East Tennessee, we're surrounded by some of the world's best and we don't have as much to often offer but even areas like Asheville, who are you know, amazing mountain bike communities, but really it's 40 minutes out of the city is your first mountain bike trail. So that is um, not accessible to very many people very often. So the opportunity of trails like this, I mean, we're right outside of 
tons of communities in Johnson City. Uh, so access is why these trails are important, to be able to give you as many opportunities to come and ride for an hour or more, but you know, not take up your entire day because life gets in the way of that kind of stuff all the time, so. Um, it'll bring a lot of, um, or make a lot of people more active, I think, not only bikers, but runners and hikers. If you just want to go out one day for a quick ride, you know, you don't have to go somewhere that's like three hours away to go to a good trail. And that way you can, I guess, stay local. And that way other people can kind of know about it and they don't want to, they don't have to feel like they have to travel somewhere really far to go and be on a trail. Um, you know, I mean, I'm going to be a little bit biased because I love to, to bicycle, right? But uh, I think they're very important because I think they help to bring the community together. Uh, I think mountain biking in a, in, a, in a mountainous region makes a whole lot of sense. And that's something that maybe this, this region hasn't necessarily really embraced in the past. So I think it's going to be positive for driving physical, you know, physical fitness, uh, driving the community to kind of band together around something that's positive that will, um, you know, it will drive more more people into the economy. I think the, the togetherness. Like I said, when you're out bicycling, it's very basic. If everybody would put down their electronics and get together and do a ride every once in a while, the, the camaraderie, uh, um, the socializing, the, the... When I was younger, the very first bike that I bought myself was an Iverson. Not a high quality bike, but in its day, a decent bike. And even then, um, it didn't, it wasn't such a big thing as to what bike you had. It was just that you were out there riding. And I think a lot of that still holds today. You know, you go on some of these community rides that uh, they do here in Johnson City. And I noticed there was people there with various different bikes, and it didn't matter. You know, everybody was just together having a good time. The, the, the competition wasn't there, it wasn't a race. It was just out having a nice time riding, you know, and, and talking with each other. It's, it, you know, you can't, you can't talk to your neighbor when you're driving your car down the highway. But you can talk to the person next to you on a bicycle out riding on the street. Or mountain biking, either one, just a little more a little more difficult there. I mean, it brings people closer together. It gives them an outlet. It gives them something to do. Um, not just riding, but building, coming out, volunteering, giving back, you know. Um, you know, it's it just it means a lot more to you when these are your home trails, you've got a place to go after work to blow off some steam, you know, you can bring your little ones out here and teach them about mountain biking and trail building and uh, just making it better for the future generation versus, you know, polluting the earth or, or whatever, you know. Yeah, I continue to plan on riding bikes for as long as I can um, and as long as the seasons go on. So yeah. I've got one little girl and she's three, but she's already had some single track experience. Yeah, she loves it. What do you want to be when you grow up? A still style bike rider in downtown. What's your favorite part about riding bicycles? <laughs> You go fast.